Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome back to some more of my theoretical tips on Overwatch. Big shout out to executive producer Josh Jones, thank you for executive producering. And I should go ahead and start this one off right now by immediately noting that on the last episode I asked you folks if I should tell you at the beginning of a mission whether or not I win or lose. My thoughts were maybe I should tell you at the beginning so you know what to expect and if you don't want to watch the video knowing the outcome you don't have to. But everybody, as of the time of this recording, everyone said, no, don't tell us, it ruins the suspense. So I shall not ruin thy suspense. I should also go ahead and note that while you guys have been giving me some excellent feedback, you've given me some great tips, you might notice that in this video and tomorrow's video, which will be the last of the week, that I have not really implemented a lot of those in these gameplays. And that is because these gameplays were all recorded in one sitting. I've been adding commentary kind of throughout the week. So even though I've learned a lot from you folks, and I've learned a lot from, lot, lot from watching my own uh, video here, I haven't been able to implement it yet because I haven't gone back to record some more. So hopefully when I sit down to record uh, after the next episode, I can take all the great tips you've given me, all the great feedback, and just do just spanking awesome. Now I won't tell you how this ends, but you might have noticed it's a bit shorter than some of the others. That's because it is a decisive victory for someone. Maybe me, maybe not me, I won't say. Uh, should I? I actually had another question for you guys. I'm trying to debate. I guess I'll bring it up in the next episode because I think it's more relevant to the next episode than this one. But just be prepared tomorrow. I'll have a question for you. Now, immediately, we've got to attack. We got to get to this point. We are on King's Row, I believe this is. And of course, that is a hybrid map. Yes, King's. I think it's called King's Row. I'm pretty confident it is. It's a hybrid, so we have to capture the point. And then from there, we will get a payload that we have to deliver. So the first step to that is always capturing the point and we have some trouble. Now I got a great comment in yesterday's video where someone said, this seems like a team game. Probably takes a good team to defeat another good team. And I agree 100% with that. But my big problem with this is that no one uses the team chat, myself included. If someone was talking to me, I'd totally talk back. I'd have a communication, but it doesn't seem like anyone else is ever communicating which is a big problem, but it's not really a be-all, end-all sort of situation. I think that if you're a good player and you have your mind on the objective, something that I've... It, it's my theme for this game. It's my slogan. I am the objective. Do the objective. If you're, you're clever and you're doing the objective, you shouldn't really need to communicate with your team. Y'all should just be able to figure out what you need to be doing, and you will hopefully begin playing as a team. Another great comment from yesterday's video, which went terribly bad, was basically explaining the reason it went wrong was that my team had no supporting class. Now, I've been hesitant to even try supporting class because it's just not my favorite type of gameplay, but I also understand the need to, if no one else is playing support on my team, I need to be able to stand up, I need to be able to sort of just take on that responsibility, even if I'm not good at it, just, just practice with it and be there to heal people, to res people, whatever it is. I want you folks, and this is what I want you to do for this episode, in addition to watching this gameplay and letting me know what I did wrong, what I did right, what I could do better, which I hope you are watching and coming up with some tips, comment down below and let me know which support classes you would recommend I try. I want to start off with a couple, bounce them around, and just really, which one do you think would be best for me and what you've seen of my playstyle to, to try out? Of course I can try them all, but would you, just, you know, if you want to give me a tip on which one you think I might be good at, please do. Now you'll notice in this episode, I'm kind of, after the last video, I'm kind of still scattered, I'm still, my head's still been cut off and I'm still a wild chicken. I'm trying to stick to the rules that I set myself, I'm trying to get that payload moved, but every so often I'm just getting distracted and running out and doing other things, which I shouldn't be doing, because as you see, it, the, it's counting down fast, and the, the video, if you're looking at the video, we're already over halfway, and we need to get that payload moving if we're have, you're going to have any chance to win, and I'm not going to tell you whether or not we win or lose, because again, you don't want to know. But you know, I'm doing my best, I'm trying to stay agile, I'm trying to stay on my feet here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have any tips for this episode. I guess the only tip I did have was, yeah, be smart and play as a team. Like, even if you're not communicating, I suppose I could yell at my teammates what to do. I don't really have to have an interaction with them, they don't have to be talking back to me. But that's my tip, just play as a team. And I guess that's it. Really, it's just, I wanted to kind of showcase this one because I thought, it was interesting, and we'll say no more. Now, we're coming up in the grinder. You may remember we were playing Route 66 in the last episode, or Route 66, if you're a yank, I guess. And I kind of mentioned that a lot of these maps, uh, particularly the hybrid maps, 
will have a grinder. So the first half of the map is usually tailored uh, intentionally or not intentionally, I don't know, but tailored for the attacking team. And it's real easy to get a payload moved. But then, oh, this is that, oh, that, mm, I hate getting smacked against walls. It's not fun at all. But then the second half of the map, going back to what I was saying, it's just a meat grinder where you get in there and the defensive team has so many options to set up and defend and it makes it so much harder for the attacking team to move forward. So we're moving into that area right now and again, you can see the video is getting pretty close to the end. What's going to happen? I won't tell you. Uh, what I will tell you though is... I, 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 mm, no, I really have nothing to say. I kind of looked at this one. I was like, do I put this one online? What do I have to say about it? What do I have to talk about in this episode? And I realized not much. It's a pretty generic play. I don't do particularly well. I don't do particularly awful. I do get smashed against the wall there and just absolutely destroyed. At the end of it, though, I don't... I, uh, I, I have no commentary to offer here. I have no suggestions. I have no theoretical tips. I guess if you like watching me play over Overwatch and you want me to talk about playing Overwatch, here it is. Here I am playing. Here we are in the meat grinder. And here's the other team doing everything they can to stop us. And this is my moment to shine right here. I am on top of the payload and I'm thinking to myself, this is it. This is my moment. I'm going to get us in there. Play of the game, baby. We are totally going to win this. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that we're totally actually going to win this? Yeah, we did. Which, I, w I was surprised. When we first got into the meat grinder area, I was like, there's no way we're punching through here. Clearly, they're going to put up too good of a defense. But then we did, and I was like, yes, I got play of the game. But I didn't. Now, I thought that last bit there where I wiped out those few guys and got us in there was going to be play of the game. I didn't realize that this has happened just before I had gotten there. Check this guy out, right? So, count them off. Just, just absolutely destroys their team. Completely clears the point. Gets, uh, I think he only gets two kills there, but you can see me coming in behind him. He cleared out a lot of space. I did pretty good, though. I got nine Helix Rocket kills, 14 eliminations total. So, overall, pretty good deal. And for the folks who care about KDR, I've said it before, I don't. I'm more about winning. 14-4, uh, not bad. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I thought I died more watching the footage back the first time. I was like, this is going to be terrible, but it was pretty good. All right, so until next time, see you folks later. God bless you. Bye.